ਸਤਿ ਸ੍ਰੀ ਅਕਾਲ ਵੈਲਕਮ ਟੂ ਆਵਰ ਲੈਸਨ ਨੰਬਰ 19th ਵੀ ਵਿਲ ਕੰਟੀਨਿਊ ਵਿਦ ਦਿ ਟੀਚਿੰਗਸ ਆਫ ਗੁਰੂ ਨਾਨਕ ਵੀ ਸਟਾਰਟ ਵਿਦ ਐਸ ਆਲਵੇਸ ਬਾਬੇ ਨਾਨਕ ਨੇ ਕਿਹਾ ਦਸ ਸਪੇਕ ਬਾਬਾ ਨਾਨਕ ਬਾਬੇ ਨਾਨਕ ਨੇ ਕਿਹਾ ਬਾਬਾ ਨਾਨਕ ਸੈਡ ਉਸੇ ਦਸ ਪੇਕ ਬਾਬਾ ਨਾਨਕ ਹੱਕ ਪਰਾਇਆ ਨਾਨਕਾ ਹੱਕ ਪਰਾਇਆ ਨਾਨਕਾ ਉਸ ਸੂਰ ਉਸ ਗਾਇ ਹੱਕ ਪਰਾਇਆ ਨਾਨਕਾ ਉਸ ਸੂਰ ਉਸ ਗਾਏ ਨਾ ਦੇ ਸਟਰਕਚਰ ਇਸ ਹੱਕ ਪਰਾਇਆ ਸੀ ਹੇਅਰ ਇਟ ਇਜ਼ ਰੈਟ੍ਰਿਕ ਨਾਰਮਲੀ ਦੀ ਸਟਕ this order should be praya hak praya means of somebody else other hak is the right right of the others right of others you see and this is since it is uh, rhetoric it's a poem in poetry you can change normally uh, this sentence uh, should have been praya na, na, praya hak the hak of uh, some of the other hmm? now here the the construction is hak praya hak the uh, subject comes before the adjective right okay? see praya is of other of the other hak is the right nanaka nanik says nanik uh, uh, says us the for one sewer for one it is a pig and us for for other it is cow that means uh, uh, you see literally right of the other says nanak F- for one it is a pig for again one for the other it is a cow that means to transgress the right of the other is like uh, pig for some and cow for the other literally uh, semantically it is like eating pig for the uh, muslims and f- like eating cow for the hindus that means these are forbidden in islam uh, eating of pig is forbidden in hinduism Uh, the eating of cow is forbidden so uh, the to transgress uh, the right of the other is like uh, eating pig for the muslims and uh, eating cow for the uh, hindus but here you see literally again hak comes before praya normally praya hak but it is right of the other says nanak for some for is not there us means that that or the for the one pig for one again cow so it's a uh, it's a very uh, different kind of uh, a construction which is uh, uh, in poetic form in poetic form uh, uh, the all the verbs are not necessarily uh, presented you see they simply the uh, abbreviated forms of the structures kise da hak 
ਹੱਕ ਮਾਰਨਾ ਬਹੁਤ ਵੱਡਾ ਪਾਪ ਹੈ ਕਿਸੇ ਕਿਸੇ ਦਾ ਹੱਕ ਮਾਰਨਾ ਬਹੁਤ ਵੱਡਾ ਪਾਪ ਹੈ ਕਿਸੇ ਦਾ ਆਫ ਦਿਸ ਇਜ਼ ਪੋਸਟ ਪੋਜੀਸ਼ਨ ਕਿਸੇ ਦਾ ਆਫ ਸਮਵਨ ਆਫ ਆਫ ਦੀ ਅਦਰ ਹੱਕ ਹੱਕ ਇਜ਼ ਅ ਵਰਡ ਦੈਟ ਕਮਸ ਫਰਮ ਅਰੇਬਿਕ ਔਰ ਪਰਸ਼ੀਅਨ ਸੋ ਦੀ ਕਾ ਇਜ਼ ਹੀਅਰ ਕਿਉ ਕੋ ਨਾਟ ਦੀ ਨਾਰਮਲ ਕਾ ਸੋ ਇਟਸ ਅ ਲੋਨ ਵਰਡ ਅ ਵਰਡ ਬਰਡ ਫਰਮ ਪਰਸ਼ੀਅਨ ਅਰੇਬਿਕ ਮਾਰਨਾ ਟੂ ਇਟ ਇਜ਼ ਟੂ ਟ੍ਰਾਂਸਗ੍ਰੈਸ ਬਟ ਮਾਰਨਾ ਹੀਅਰ ਇਜ਼ ਟੂ ਕਿਲ ਯੂ ਸੀ ਹੱਕ ਮਾਰਨਾ ਟੂ ਕਿਲ ਰਾਈਟ ਸੀ ਨੋ ਦੀਸ ਆਰ ਦੀਸ ਆਰ ਫ੍ਰੇਜ਼ਸ ਵਿਦ ਹੱਕ ਯੂ ਯੂ ਸ਼ੁੱਡ ਸੇ ਮਾਰਨਾ ਵਿਦ ਸਮਥਿੰਗ ਐਲਸ ਯੂ ਸੇ ਮਾਰਨਾ ਇਜ਼ ਸਿੰਪਲੀ ਹੱਕ ਟੂ ਟੂ ਟ੍ਰਾਂਸਗ੍ਰੈਸ ਦੀ ਰਾਈਟ ਆਫ ਦੀ ਅਦਰ ਬਹੁਤ ਵੱਡਾ ਵੈਰੀ ਮਚ ਜਾਂ ਵੈਰੀ ਮਚ ਵੱਡਾ ਬਿਗ ਸੀ ਵੱਡਾ ਇਜ਼ ਆਲਵੇਜ਼ ਵੈਰੀ ਮਚ ਯੂ ਸੀ ਬਹੁਤ ਵੱਡਾ ਯੂ ਕੈਨ ਸੇ ਵੈਰੀ ਮਚ ਜਾਂ ਲਿਟਰਲੀ ਵੈਰੀ ਵੱਡਾ ਵੱਡਾ ਇਜ਼ ਆਲਸੋ ਬਿਗ ਵੱਡਾ ਇਜ਼ ਆਸ਼ਨ ਪਾਪ ਇਜ਼ ਸਿਨ ਸਿਨ ਇਜ਼ ਯੂ ਸੀ ਸੋ ਪਾਪ ਹੈ ਇਜ਼ ਯੂ ਸੀ ਦ ਟ੍ਰਾਂਸ ਟੂ ਟ੍ਰਾਂਸਗ੍ਰੈਸ ਦੀ ਰਾਈਟ ਆਫ ਦੀ ਅਦਰ ਇਜ਼ a a big sin is a great sin is a, is a, is a, is, a, is a sin i mean bahut vadda so you have kise da kise da hak you can say you see if you talk about the noun phrase it is kise da hak then marna say hak is a masculine singular this is why this is also masculine singular hak again as we know Uh, any any word any any animate or any an animate uh, uh, concept has to be uh, in either masculine or feminine okay so hak is masculine is singular so it is da this post position uh, follows that marna is uh, infinitive to kill you see to kill to transgress hmm? uh, both vada uh, is uh, uh, very much both vada pap you see this is adjective you see the word da both word da is the adjective pop is the subject the noun and then is you see this so this is the structure of this kise da hak marna that is in a way to transgress the right of the other uh, pop hai bahut vadda pop hai is a great sin bahut vadda bahut is very big is a kind of you know literally but it is a uh, the transgress uh, to transgress the right of the other kise da of of the other of some uh, is a, a great sin we'll continue hinduan vaste e ga khan barabar hai hinduan वास्ते ए गा खान बराबर है हिंदुआ वास्ते ए गा खान बराबर है 
ਹੈ ਹਿੰਦੂਆਂ ਵਾਸਤੇ ਫੋਰ ਦਾ ਹਿੰਦੂਸ ਹਿੰਦੂਆਂ ਇਸ ਦਿਸ ਇਸ ਪਲੂਰਲ ਆ ਪਲੂਰਲ ਸੇ ਐਂਡ ਮੈਸਕੁਲਨ ਪਲੂਰਲ ਇਸ ਇਸ ਦਿਸ ਇਸ ਮੈਸਕੁਲਨ ਪਲੂਰਲ ਪਲੂਰਲ ਵਾਸਤੇ ਫੋਰ ਵਾਸਤੇ ਏ ਦਿਸ ਦੈਟ ਮੀਨਸ ਦਿਸ ਟ੍ਰਾਂਸਗ੍ਰੈਸ਼ਨ ਆਫ ਦੀ ਰਾਈਟ ਆਫ ਦੀ ਅਦਰ ਏ ਗਾਂ ਖਾਨ ਬਰਾਬਰ ਇਟ ਇਸ ਇਕਵਲੈਂਟ ਟੂ ਬਰਾਬਰ ਗਾਂ ਕਾਓ ਗਾਂ ਖਾਨ ਬਰਾਬਰ ਗਾਂ ਖਾਨ ਗਾਂ ਖਾਨ ਬਰਾਬਰ ਹੈ ਯੂ ਸੀ ਬਰਾਬਰ ਹੈ ਥਿਸ ਇਸ ਇਸ ਯੂ ਕੈਨ ਹੈਵ ਗਾਂ ਖਾਨ ਬਰਾਬਰ ਹੈ ਗਾਂ ਟੂ ਈਟ ਖਾਨ ਇਸ ਟੂ ਟੂ ਈਟ ਇਟ ਇਟ ਇਸ ਟੂ ਈਟ ਕਾ ਬਰਾਬਰ ਹੈ ਇਸ ਇਕਵਲੈਂਟ ਟੂ ਸੀ ਥਿਸ ਇਸ ਇਸ and this is equivalent or equal to it is it is the same as uh, you can say it is the same as uh, as eating cow eating cow hmm? but uh, uh, the important thing is to note how uh, the sentence is structured muslimana hmm? vaste ਮੁਸਲ ਮਾਨਾ ਦੇ ਸੇਮ ਕਾਈਂਡ ਆਫ ਸਟਰਕਚਰ ਦੇ ਇਜ਼ ਨੋ ਡਿਫਰੈਂਸ ਵਾਸਤੇ ਏ ਸੂਰ ਖਾਨ ਬਰਾਬਰ ਹੈ ਸੂਰ ਖਾਨ ਬਰਾਬਰ ਹੈ ਮੁਸਲ ਮਾਨਾ ਵਾਸਤੇ ਏ ਸੂਰ ਖਾਨ ਬਰਾਬਰ ਹੈ musalmana waste for the muslims this is again masculine plural but waste doesn't change for it is uh, uh, it is the same thing whether it is singular or plural or masculine or feminine a it that means it refers again to the transgression of the right of the other sur khan barabar it is equal to it is the same as to eat uh, uh, pig which means to eat something which is forbidden it is uh, uh, to do something very bad you see so that is it's a sort it's an explanation of the first uh, statement hak praya nanka usur us gaye you see it is a, a commentary it is explanation of that uh, sentence paave koi chota hove paave ਕੋਈ ਛੋਟਾ ਹੋਵੇ ਭਾਵੇਂ ਕੋਈ ਵੱਡਾ ਹੋਵੇ see weather pame now this is also important this is a uh, pa with the low tone pame koi chota hove again the same thing pame ਕੋਈ ਵੱਡਾ ਹੋਵੇ ਸੀ ਪਾਵੇਂ ਵੈਦਰ ਨਾ ਥਿਸ ਇਜ਼ ਅਗੇਨ ਥਿਸ ਇਜ਼ ਪਾ ਐਂਡ ਇਟ ਕੋਰਸਪੌਂਡਸ ਟੂ ਵਾਇਸਲੈਸ ਕੰਸੋਨੈਂਟ ਫੋਲੋਡ ਬਾਈ ਲੋ ਟੋਨ ਪਾਵੇਂ ਕੋਈ ਨੋ ਪ੍ਰੋਬਲਮ 
chota this is this is ta is uh, retroflex hove it's okay again pame repeated koi is repeated and what da this is this is both uh, uh, da retroflex uh, plus it is also uh, double you see there are there are double consonants in punjabi in english there we never have any double consonant even when it is uh, uh, written double consonant it is uh, now pronounced as such you see it uh, the it is only uh, a matter of uh, how to uh, pronounce it the vowel the the pronunciation of the vowel changes but the consonant always remains single mm -hmm. like for example in a word like uh, put you see and you have put you see this is a uh, here you will have this vowel is short u and this vowel is this vowel is a uh. so this the uh, it becomes uh, the the double consonant changes the quality of the vowel but not of the consonant whereas uh, in punjabi uh, the consonant can be uh, double but in this case uh, is also see there as we have here one retroflex ta and then there is a da you see it is actually the uh, this is the ta is uh, uh, voiceless and da is uh, voiced so it is uh, ta da ta da paame koi chota hove paame koi vadda hove whether someone b hove b may be small or whether someone may be big whether uh, whether uh, whether uh, the somebody who's uh, concerned whether the person is small or big in other words whether the person is poor or rich okay small or big which also means uh, uh, whether it is small or big or poor or rich hmm? whether the person is uh, uh, rich or poor or small or big sab nu ikko jya adar satkar milna chahida hai sab nu ikko jya adar satkar milna chahida hai sab nu see here you have ba but here in this case you have a high tone followed by ba sab nu ikko jya adar satkar milna chaida hai sab nu to to everybody to all sab is all to ikko sab nu see this one one phrase ikko jya ikko here you have consonant double consonant ikko jya you have a uh, uh a high tone jya you see this is a uh, also a diphthong you see the two two vowels one short vowel and one long vowel a, dip, a diphthong is always uh, constituted of a short vowel and a long vowel so jya and there is a high tone hmm? adar there is not much problem the first vowel is long the other is short and it is the it is a uh, uh voiced uh, dental and uh, not uh, not uh, da it is the okay uh, more like the french the in english there is always da so english uh, 
very difficult for the English people to pronounce this the other satkar the same problem here this ta is again um, a dental voiceless so this is ta and this is da you see it is the uh, voiceless uh, dental ta voiced dental the sat ad a dar the satkar hmm? milna here is a mil and then this is a retroflex consonant ana it's not na it's not a dental it the to pronounce the retroflex consonant the tongue goes back ana you see chai da then again here you have a high tone chai da and da is again uh, uh, see this is quite difficult first of all you have a high tone and then you have a dental um, stop which is uh, uh, voiced the you see you have now ta like you have ta da and this da is the same da other chahi da chahi da you see so to understand it you have phrase structure sab nu to all eko ja the same the same same this similar same or similar other satkar uh, both ways you can say regard and respect you see or you can translate i mean these two words Uh, refer to respect but you can at the most uh, translate them uh, these as uh, regard, regard respect milna desh milna chahida hai see milna chahida hai they should receive milna to receive all uh, in the beginning sense pave koi chhota hove pave koi vadda hove whether a person is small or big rich or poor all of them the same regard respect should receive that all of them should get should receive the same kind of respect they should all be respected or they should all get proper uh, consideration hmm? uh, it's a ikko ja adar satkar you see then this is the uh, object and then this is uh, the verbal phrase always we have uh, Uh, the subject or uh, subject object and the verbal phrase we continue jadon raje apne राज दे निजमा दी पालना नहीं कर दे जदों राजे अपने राज दे निजमा दी पालना नहीं कर दे जदों वेन यू हैव सेपरेट राजे अपने राजे अपने राज दे निजमा दी यू कैन से जदों when the kings or the administrators apne of their administration raj de nijma di when the kings do not then see you have to uh, for, you go have to go to uh, the verbal phase at the end but you have to go here in the middle 
when they do not follow the rules or the principles of their administration, say palana nahi karde, palana nahi karde, they do not uh, pal palana here is quite complicated. Palana normally is to bring up, to 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 raise, to but here it is to follow when the kings do not follow the rules or the proper rules, the norms uh, of their nijam is the nijma, this is masculine plural, hmm? the palana, the palana is uh, uh, feminine singular and this is why the, uh, the goes with palana, hmm? the e here is uh, again this is feminine singular to uh, uh, which feminine singular palana. You see, palana, the palana, the here nijima, the of, but uh, nijim is, it is interesting, nijima is, uh, nijim is plural, masculine plural here, nijim, nijima, ah, this is here oblique, uh, ah is oblique, you see, this is, this is oblique case, the before the, both the uh, postposition, but the accords with, agrees with palana, you see, not with the nijim, nijima, the palana. So, 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 since palana is the mask feminine singular, so the, the post position will be feminine singular. So, uh, the nahi karde, do not do, you see literally when they uh, do not uh, uh, of the, the principles of the administration uh, follow, follow up, do not do. That means, when they do not follow or do not, uh, uh, do not agree, do not, do not do what they are supposed to do, when the administrators or when the princes or the kings, the Rajay literally means kings, do not follow the proper rules of their administration, of their, uh, of their rule, of their rule. Hmm? It's a you see, quite uh, uh, complicated, complex sentence. But now, when we are in the nineteenth uh, lesson, we are getting more and more complex uh, structures of the language. Ni hmm? karde, and then uh, there is a, uh, one more sentence for the same jadon. When when it comes when, and then again when. Jadon Takatwar Kamzor Griba D Rakya Nain Karde. Again, jadon, the same jadon, hmm? takatvar, kamzor, gariba, di, rakhya, Nahi karde de. It is uh, the structure of the sentence is parallel to the st this structure that we just had uh, uh, before this. When jadon, when takatwar, the powerful, when the powerful, and this is uh, masculine plural, kamzor hmm? griba. Okay? Kamzor uh, poor, Kamzor poor, uh, poor, poor, uh, weak, poor. You see, Kamzor is uh, means uh, poor, the one who Kamzor who are, who's weak compared to strong. You know, compare so on. And grieve is simply poor, poor uh, as opposed to rich. Kamzor here is uh, weak as opposed to strong, and grieve is Kamzor uh, grieban 
ਗਰੀਬਾਂ ਅਗੇਨ ਲਾਈਕ ਬਿਫੋਰ ਦੀ ਪਾਲਣਾ ਹੇਅਰ ਇਟ ਇਜ਼ ਦੀ ਰੱਖਿਆ ਸੀ ਦੀ ਰੱਖਿਆ ਰੱਖਿਆ ਇਜ਼ ਫੈਮਿਨਨ ਸਿੰਗੂਲਰ ਸਿਮਿਲਰਲੀ ਦੀ ਵਿਲ ਆਲਸੋ ਬੀ ਫੈਮਿਨਨ ਸਿੰਗੂਲਰ ਸੀ ਦੀ ਰੱਖਿਆ ਗਰੀਬਾਂ ਦੀ ਰੱਖਿਆ ਸੀ ਦੀ ਡਸ ਨਾਟ ਅਕੋਰਡ ਵਿਦ ਕਮਜ਼ੋਰ ਗਰੀਬਾਂ ਬਿਕੋਜ਼ ਥਿਸ ਇਜ਼ ਮਸਕੁਲਨ ਪੂਰ ਸੀ ਲਾਈਕ ਮਸਕੁਲਨ ਪੂਰ ਤਾਕਤਵਰ ਕਮਜ਼ੋਰ ਗਰੀਬ ਗਰੀਬਾਂ ਆ ਇਸ ਹੀਅਰ ਇਜ਼ ਓਬਲੀਕ ਕੇਸ ਬਿਫੋਰ ਦੀ ਪੋਸਟ ਪੋਜੀਸ਼ਨ ਦੀ ਬਟ ਦੀ ਅਕੋਰਡਸ ਵਿਦ ਰੱਖਿਆ ਦੀ ਰੱਖਿਆ ਮੀਨਸ ਪ੍ਰੋਟੈਕਟ ਪ੍ਰੋਟੈਕਸ਼ਨ ਦੇ ਵੈਨ ਦੇ ਡੂ ਨਾਟ ਡੂ ਪ੍ਰੋਟੈਕਸ਼ਨ ਸੀ ਨਹੀਂ ਕਰਦੇ ਨਾਟ ਕਰਦੇ ਡੂ ਲਿਟਰਲੀ ਦੀ ਵੈਨ ਵੈਨ ਦਾ ਪਾਵਰਫੁਲ ਡੂ ਨਾਟ ਡੂ ਪ੍ਰੋਟੈਕਸ਼ਨ ਆਫ ਦਾ ਵੀਕ ਐਂਡ ਦੀ ਪੂਅਰ ਔਰ ਵੀਕ ਪੂਅਰ ਅਦਰ ਵਰਡਸ ਵੈਨ ਦੀ ਪਾਵਰਫੁਲ do not protect the poor so this is the but to do not protect the poor uh, you do not protect you have rakhya nahi karde protection you see it's, it is not put, see here is verb is verb is here nahi nahi karde but rakhya is not a not a verb rakhya is a, is a noun it's protection you see protection when they do not give protection or, or they do not do protection or normally in english you would say when the powerful do not protect the poor but uh, the important point here is that first of all this protection like palana nahi karde in the earlier sentence here rakhya nahi karde palana is they do not uh, do not follow or do not uh, uh, agree or do not uh, accord them uh, and here it is uh, protection when they do not protect the poor hmm? you see ਉਹ ਦੋ ਸੱਚ ਦਾ ਚਾਨਣ ਜ਼ੁਲਮ ਦੇ ਹਨੇਰੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਬਦਲ ਜਾਂਦਾ ਹੈ ਉਦੋਂ ਅਸੀਂ ਲਾਈ ਫਰਮ ਜਦੋਂ ਵੈਨ ਉਦੋਂ ਦੈਨ ਦੋਨ ਸੱਚ ਦਾ ਚਾਨਣ zulm this is uh, za see if without uh, this point it is ja if you put a point this becomes za this is z uh, this word again comes from uh, uh, persian arabic hmm? zulm de hanere vich ਬਦਲ ਜਾਂਦਾ ਹੈ ਕੋਈ ਤੇ ਕੰਪਲੈਕਸ ਸੈਂਟੈਂਸ ਅਗੇਨ ਵੈਰੀ ਕੰਪਲੈਕਸ ਰਾਦਰ ਉਦੋਂ ਦੈਨ ਸੱਚ ਦਾ ਚਾਨਣ ਸੱਚ ਅਗੇਨ ਇਜ਼ ਅ ਇਜ਼ ਟਰੂਥ ਸੱਚ ਮੀਨਸ ਟਰੂਥ ਬਟ ਇਟ ਇਜ਼ ਮੈਸਕੁਲਨ ਸਿੰਗੂਲਰ but channan channan again channan is light light such the channan the light of truth the channan but the agrees with channan because channan again is masculine singular even though this is masculine singular but the agreement is here not with this you see such the channan you see the channan if it had been something else haneri uh, or or uh, some some uh, if if this uh, word had been uh, feminine like such the palana so then it would be the instead of da see so this will accord with the with the, uh, the so it will be masculine singular because this is masculine singular you see such the channan zulm cruelty or uh, i mean oppression whatever it is they 
ਦੇ ਅਗੇਨ ਦਾ ਹਨੇਰੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਹਨੇਰਾ ਹਨੇਰੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਸੀ ਦੇ ਹਨੇਰੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਅਗੇਨ ਦੇ ਹਨੇਰੇ ਬਿਕੋਜ਼ ਵਿੱਚ ਇਸ ਇਨ ਇਨ ਦ ਡਾਰਕਨੈਸ ਆਫ ਕਰੂਅਲਟੀ ਨੋ ਸੀ ਜ਼ੁਲਮ ਇਜ਼ ਕਰੂਅਲ ਜ਼ੁਲਮ ਯੂ ਸੀ ਯੂ ਕੈਨ ਹੈਵ ਇਨ ਵਨ ਸੈਂਸ ਇਟ ਇਜ਼ ਵਨ ਫਰੇਜ਼ ਜ਼ੁਲਮ ਦੇ ਹਨੇਰੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਬਟ ਵਾਟ ਯੂ ਹੈਵ ਟੂ ਸੀ ਇਜ਼ ਬੋਥ ਦੇ ਐਂਡ ਹਨੇਰੇ ਅਦਰਵਾਈਜ਼ ਵੁਡ ਬੀ ਦਾ ਹਨੇਰਾ ਫੋਰ ਐਗਜ਼ਾਮਪਲ ਯੂ ਕੈਨ ਸੇ ਦਾ ਹਨੇਰਾ ਯੂ ਸੀ ਨਾਰਮਲੀ ਇਫ देयर ਇਜ਼ ਨੋ ਵਿਚ ਹੀਅਰ ਦੈਨ ਇਟ ਵੁਡ ਬੀ ਜ਼ੁਲਮ ਦਾ ਹਨੇਰਾ ਯੂ ਸੀ ਸੋ ਇਟ ਵੁਡ ਬੀ ਅ ਡਾਇਰੈਕਟ ਕੇਸ ਯੂ ਸੀ ਦਾ ਹਨੇਰਾ ਸਿੰਸ देयर ਇਜ਼ ਵਿਚ देयर ਇਜ਼ ਅ ਪੋਸਟ ਪੋਜੀਸ਼ਨ ਵਿਚ ਮੀਨਸ ਇਨ ਇਨ ਸੋ ਬੋਥ ਦਾ ਐਂਡ ਰਾ ਬਿਕਮ ਦੇ ਰੇ ਸੋ ਇਟ ਦਿਸ ਇਜ਼ ਐਨ ਓਬਲੀਕ ਕੇਸ ਬੋਥ ਕੇਸਸ a a here you see this a and this a uh, a this is oblique this a and this a this is uh, due to ob- oblique uh, case so badal janda hai badal now again janda badal badal is to change janda again is this is a, this is a verb just to go with it jana otherwise it is to go but badal janda hai it is changed so uh, the the head uh, uh, verb is badal you see in this case we have to see the meaning will depend upon this verb the verb that is the head verb you see this is the head verb hmm? and uh, this will tell you what is the meaning of the sentence janda hai is badal janda hai uh, and or or something else ho janda hai janda otherwise to go but here it doesn't mean go it simply means it reinforces what happens here so this is this is badal it is only the root of the of of the verb it is not normally badalna to change badalya changed that's a verb or badalega you see that is a future tense badal itself is only the root of the verb you see the first and what it means would be it depends on the following uh, verb structure janda hai so it is jana badal janda hai so then when the powerful do not protect the poor when the kings do not follow the rules of their kingdom rules of governing hmm? raj governing then odo then the light of truth hmm, is changed into badal janda hai into zulm de hanere vich in in the darkness of the cruelty see then the light of truth is changed into is transformed into the darkness of cruelty of uh, then the, then there is a there is cruelty hmm? as we have seen uh, in these structures there are some structures which are par- parallel like pave pave or jadon jadon see there are structure pa- parallel when when see when when this 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 happens or when when this happens then the question of the agreement the agreement is not necessarily with the subject it is also with the what follows later see zulum de hanere vich you see sach de chanan vich see the it is the de goes with the de, 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 de chanan so or di uh, palana uh, sach di palana karni you see so it is what follows that determines uh, the the structure of the the centers so, so the, the that means within the noun structure or within the phrase structure there are sub structures and and the agreement or accord with the gender and number will depend upon uh, which is which is referred to see if when the when chanun is referred to then it will agree, agree with chanun when nira is referred to it will agree with an era you see so the agreement will so uh, as you see this is fairly complex ap- apart from the fact 
that you have a normal structure which is uh, uh, subject, object and then the verbal phrase. Thank you.